Nurses are the backbone of the healthcare industry, but their work is back-breaking, literally, because nurses have the highest rate of musculoskeletal injuries, more so the construction workers. The average nurse lift 1.8 tons a day, walk 4 miles a day, and care for an average of between 1 to 6 patients. According to the Department of Labor and Statistics, every year there are thousands of nurses and other healthcare workers suffer debilitating career-ending musculoskeletal injuries due to manual patient lifting. The American Nurse Association supports eliminating all manual patient handling. Mechanical equipment must be used to safely lift, transfer, or reposition patients to reduce patient injuries, staff injuries, musculoskeletal injuries, and improve quality of care, patient mobility, and safety culture. This is the uh, standing hoyer, uh, battery operated. Yet a statewide survey indicates two-thirds of hospitals have no lifts in intensive care units and a third don't even have protocols for safe patient handling. The proper way to boost a patient in bed is first to raise the bed up to your working level, then use a chuck with a second person, slide the patient up, no lifting to reduce the strain on your back. If you have to transfer a patient onto a stretcher or onto uh, another bed, uh, one of the best ways to, to do that without any strain on your back is uh, to place a banana bag uh, underneath the patient or between the sheets and slide the patient over. Presently, only 12 states have mandatory safe patient handling and mobility programs. Only Congress could require healthcare facilities to protect their nursing staff. Nurses and Healthcare Worker Protection Act, HR 4266, is the only national legislation protecting nurses by addressing the subject of safe patient handling. The bill was introduced in December of 2015. The bill is still pending in Congress. Please support your nurses and healthcare workers by writing to Congress. Thank you.